Hello everybody. Clearly Australia has not won and you see the shirt is still hanging up there. We'll get retired after this one. Um, it was a day of giant killings. Uh, both matches uh, in the quarter quarterfinal did not end the way it was expected. First we had South Korea against Qatar, um, which was billed as the match between two of the best teams at this Asian Cup. Probably even the best. I mean, South Korea had some trouble, but you know, they seemed solid uh, throughout. Although, um, yeah, they should probably not have gone to overtime uh, in the round of 16, but the way they got rid of China. But you know, who is not beating China these days? Um, Iran did it quite easily, too. Anyway, South Korea controlled that game, had chances, many chances. Um, and you always had the feeling South Korea is going to score. Then right when they were come coming very close, um, I think in 77th hit the outside of the post, and right uh, coming come, 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 come back, Qatar takes the lead through Hatem, who actually knew he was already suspended uh, for the semi-final after picking up um, a yellow card in the first half. And South Korea came actually back uh, and scored an equalizer, but the goal was ruled offside. They'll even look at it on VAR, and yes, it was offside, so uh, goal did not stand. And Qatar hangs on and wins this one. That's the first real shock of the tournament, at least in the knockout stage. A real shocker. Um, I would not have expected that. Jordan beating Australia was probably the shocker so far. Qatar beating South Korea. South Korea was bound to be a challenger for the title. Qatar, that's the first big um, move in a continental tournament. Um, and this is a very young squad. And looking forward to the World Cup in less than four years. Maybe there is some, maybe the hosts will not be a pushover that everyone made them out to be. We shall see. Uh, a second, now, they, uh, so they made it to the semifinals, and the, their opponent is the hosts, the United Arab Emirates, and that's a quite spicy matchup, uh, you know. Uh, politically, they're not on the best terms. Yes, the Emirates have offered to host some games for the 2022 World Cup if there are 48 teams, but first uh, things have to be figured out. And Qatar is at the moment really the one team that is uh, the one country that's a little bit isolated from the rest of the Arabian world. So, yeah, this is gonna be for sure interesting uh, match. Sorry if I'm yawning, we had a Children's birthday, I'm pretty much wiped, uh, but I still want to make this video to have it ready to go tomorrow. And at the same time, I'm also watching a little bit of Arsenal play Manchester United in the FA Cup, which I'll talk about tomorrow. So the game between Austria and the United Arab Emirates, um, I always said that I'm not convinced by either one of these teams. Um, and I would have given Australia the um, edge uh, and I think for most of the game, it was like that. Um, the, the funny thing is, you read the um, summary of the game, and it says all Australia. I watched the highlights, and there were only United Arab Emirates chances. And I read here in uh, our article there were two or three really good chances. I mean, Australia could have taken an early lead. Was always more threatening, um, but the Emirates put in a defensive performance uh, that has not been seen at this Asian Cup so far and kept Australia out and in the end it was a really botched back pass uh, out of a situation where you just yeah at first sight it looks horrible uh, if you look back then yes he gets a little bit clipped on the back heel maybe that put him off and the timings off and then uh, he plays a very badly weighted pass Back to the goalkeeper, where um, I have to quickly look up the goal scorer. I think it was uh, Mahmoud. Yeah, Ma Mabhud. Mabhud intercepts it and runs the goalkeeper and makes it 1 0. 
Australia tries its best to get back into the game. Uh, four minutes of added on time became uh, more than 10 minutes added, added on time and Australia cannot find the back of the net and is out of the tournament and the hosts after Australia last time around are the second hosts in a row that make it to the semi-final something that hasn't happened before uh, the 2015 Asian Cup which I didn't know but it's kind of an interesting fact to it so yeah uh, what does this mean for a tournament? Well, we have a clash of the Giants. Uh, many will say this is the real final between um, Japan and Iran. And then we have a kind of spicy second semifinal between Qatar and the United Arab Emirates. Um, I'm not going to make predictions. I think Iran will go through to the final. Uh, Qatar against the Emirates, I honestly don't know. Sorry, I'm really... I'm. If I turn off the lights now, I'm falling fall, 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 fall asleep. I really want to get this going. But yeah, um, from the showings, I would say Qatar. But they're an, an, an inexperienced team. And the Emirates are the host nation. And they clearly... I mean, I read also some online com comments where... I mean, it's mostly Australians that are writing there. They felt a little bit cheated in that one as well. So... I always say it's a quarterfinal for Australia seems to be the most um, a semifinal was now possible due to the draw but you know you're out against the hosts and so the title defense ends right there and we're gonna see where it goes um, I'm definitely looking forward to Japan Iran I'm not sure about the other one uh, doesn't seem as, as, as enticing as, as another, although, as I said, Qatar has been playing quite well, quite attractively. And if the Emirates can put in another defensive performance like today against Australia, we'll see. Anyway, it was a day of giant killing. I fear shark killing hockey sticks has no relation whatsoever. But yeah, let me know what you thought about these games. If you watched them, uh, how did you see them? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.